two. Backpack. Do we want to open that? Guess we're gonna have to. We've already looked. Disgusting, in but cheap. Book. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Okay. Red shirt. Made from the story from Trevor. Before. What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Hmm? Right from... Okay. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring, is what she said. Her. A weird kid talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter. Because who wants to be boring? <laughs> nice. Phone. Well, that's even more of a breach of privacy, but I guess we're gonna have to. I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend, free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. Well, where did it come from? Did he steal or something like that? We gotta check up in the, li in the library journal again. Wanna finish walking through stuff first though. Open drawer, sure. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house. Not long after we met at Food Rescue. Hmm. He was stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches, concussion. She still had headaches, she said. Pizza boxes. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never okay. actually seen her build anything. Building with pizza boxes. Like, I don't know. A star or something like that. Okay, I guess. Kelsey's jacket. She asked me why Wait, I was so angry all the time. And I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards had been dealt. Any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie? My friend Marie. She got me a new deck. And suggested I deal again. Hmm. And I just had a thought. What if the password is Kelsey? Kelsey. I mean, Marie seems quite obsessed with Kelsey. Let's give it a try. Kelsey. No. She must have I'm written not a down here somewhere. Stalker. Stalker. No. She must have written it down. Darn it. Let's continue searching. T-shirt. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Got menu. Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside, just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. Hmm. She seems very poor. Nam. Nam. <laughs> yes, Nam. Name badge. Name badge. Sure. Food rescue. High resolution. Yeah, it was a good place to be. Until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. 
Worse than being hungry. And the green eatery card. Okay. The green eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Ayurvedic lasagna ever again. Mm. But some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. I mean, there's cheese as well with, with mold and everything. And even cheese with worms in it, which is supposed to be eaten that way. Yeah, cheese can be weird. <laughs> Shopping bags. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Who again is Mr. Torres? Like her boyfriend? Or a makeshift dad or what? I couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one. So we rode our bikes everywhere. <laughs> I thought I looked silly. And with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Yeah, I was losing my glamour status at school right there. Sweet. I loved skinny dipping, but Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool after dark. No one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. Someone else? That sounds creepy as frick. Okay. Okay. Phone, yes. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I knew he blamed her for everything, though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Maybe Trevor. Maybe she had that on Trevor. Three, four. I know it's not gonna she be a name. She must have written it down here somewhere. Not a, a what something descriptive word. Subjective. I need to find the key. A five figure number. She. God damn it. What is the combination, Marie? Maybe she kept it in here somewhere. Hmm. I'm gonna have to take a look into Marie's journal again. We didn't for a while now. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff to read. Alright. High school. Kid saves classmates from hunger. He said something about that. After that school article, people kept asking me why I did it, as if I were some kind of hero. So stupid. And I kept telling them the same story. Aren't they sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book, my life story, so they'll stop bugging me. Crazy people. Here, for the last time. Last fall, I caught a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack. As he stuffed the sandwich in his mouth, our eyes locked. He panicked, dropped the food, and ran. I never realized some of my classmates were actually hungry, so I joined fu Food Rescue to help. There. The end. Everyone satisfied? So, that's what she did. Alright. We had a party today, celebrating three years of Food Rescue. Everyone was there. All those happy familiar faces loved it. Cassie came in. I never took her for one of the hungry. I don't think she knows my name, but everyone knows hers. She's gorgeous. It surprised me, is all. I could see the shame in her eyes when she had to accept the bag of groceries from me. I still couldn't take my eyes off of her. If this world allows someone like Kelsey Jackson to be hungry, it must be everywhere. So I'm going to fight it with everything I've got. And there we have the motivation. Nice. Arg. A lot of arg. I screwed up, but I was worried. I'm still worried. And what else could I do? Kelsey hasn't been to food rescue in a while, and I just wanted to make sure she wasn't hungry or something. I offered her my sandwich. <clears throat> Why did I do that? Now we'll never be friends. Good one, Mary. Really, really well done. She looked at me like I was crazy and walked out. And now we're behind with a project too. I hope we make the deadline. Arg! Lots of args. Just stop! Why do you keep writing this shit? 
Okay. <laughs> I know there isn't much news in Orange Grove. Orange Grove. She said something about picking oranges, right? I think so. Something about fresh oranges. Yeah, with the orange trees, I think. Maybe we live in an area where a lot of oranges are being planted or something like that. But it's been ages. Not literally, but, you know, they are never gonna find them. I wish everyone just would just... Just stop! Leave us alone, so I can forget that whole god-awful night. Some think my dad was a hero for trying to stop them. Truth is, we never saw them coming. When that guy jumped and stabbed my dad, something snapped and I would have punched him. Scratched his eye out. I, I swear! I think I could have killed him. But the other one got to me before. I even knew there were two. I never saw their faces. Neither did my dad. So they never caught them. Continue in part three.